Hey guys, it's Black Scout Survival, and today we're going to talk about the 10 items a new prepper needs. And, and what I mean by that is that uh, somebody that's just getting into you know, preparedness, uh, or, and the fact is, uh, you know, everybody out there for the most part has, you know, car insurance, health insurance, you know, homeowners insurance, but they don't keep provisions at their house in case of some kind of disaster. And these 10 items, and I'm, it's actually going to be 11 because one of them is going to be extra credit, um, and I'll explain why. But the fact is, is that these items aren't for, you know, Armageddon or the zombie apocalypse because you really can't be prepared for that. Uh, you can think you will, but you really can't prepare for that magnitude of things going wrong. So these items will be one uh, to, to help you start off in, in prepping or disaster preparedness, getting you know a couple supplies to help you withstand small disasters, but it will also be a good foundation for you to build upon. These are the first items I think that any new prepper needs to purchase or people that are even, even aren't in the disaster preparedness need to have in their home. Let's go ahead and start talking about those items. The number one and the most important item in the kit uh, or in the tin is uh, medical trauma kit and I don't mean like a little small plastic first aid kit I mean an actual full-blown trauma kit to help you know airway uh, the ABCs you know bleeding and uh, circulation uh, band-aids and, and neosporin ain't gonna take care of you whenever you can't get you know the EMTs and first responders out here to you so you need to have something that can take care of those you know three major issues and 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 this is mine i built this and i'll do a video on this and this is basically er in a bag and it is has everything you could want in, in a disaster situation where you can't get further assistance but i'll go over the contents of that kit in a later video the next item and this this is the most important item to all life on planet earth here and that's water uh water you can purchase, you know, things like these, jugs like these. I think I paid a buck for this. And uh, you can get, purchase a bunch of these and stack these up. You can get a cistern for your backyard if you want to go extreme. But just purchase some of these. Get some five-gallon water jugs and, and a couple drops of bleach in there to keep the water from going sour on you, and that'll be good. And go along with the water. You'll need to have a way to purify to get, you know, more water. And the best thing that I believe is is just good old household bleach. And that's because, you know, you can purify a ton of water with just this bottle here. Some people get all kinds of filters and all that kind of stuff, but, you know, those need replace, uh, replacement of the filters. They may break on you. This is a surefire way to keep clean drinking water. But you'll need water again for, you know, drinking, cooking, and sanitation. So it's important, very important item to have, and the more you have, the better. The next item we're going to talk about is food and food storage. You know, you can get <coughs> carried away with food, but the way I look at it, you can do uh, a few different things. One, you can get, you know, canned foods, and I like to have a variety of all three of these, but you can start off with canned foods. Every time you go to the grocery store, pick up a can or two extra every week, and it can be, you know, uh, vegetables, fruits, and meats, and stuff like that. And uh, here I got some tuna chicken of the sea and uh some uh lobster with cognac but you can get a bunch of other stuff and this is just an example i have a lot of other fruits and vegetables and stuff uh, and you can pretty much eat a lot of it out of the can the other thing is that you can rotate this stuff as you you know go throughout your week so you don't have a bunch of freeze-dried food stored up that you're never going to eat if nothing ever does happen Another good thing to have is MRE, and I have a few cases of these because they don't require cooking. You can eat them on the go, and they uh, stay good for about five years or so in 80-degree uh, temperature. And I've got a video all about MREs if you want to go back to some older videos and watch, and I talk about the complete ins and outs. The other thing you can get is freeze-dried foods, and these things last a heck of a lot longer than the rest of the stuff here on the table. But the problem is these require cooking so we'll, you'll need a cooking method but they're good to have and i encourage you to have you know uh, all of all all three of these you know along with some rice and beans and stuff like that so we mentioned cooking and a good thing to have is you know some kind of stove like you know this is a small one of the small style 
backpacking stoves, you know, to heat up water to cook that food with in case the grid does go down and I can't, you know, heat up my food on my, st my own stove. But you can get something small like this. You can get the bigger Coleman style that a lot of people take tailgating or whatnot. You can also use just your grill in your backyard. But uh, that's one method. Another method is getting some of these camp heats like this, you know, but you want to have some way to cook your food, heat up water, boil if you need to, and uh, just keep things, you know, morale up and, and, and stuff like that. Another little thing you need to have is a way to light your stove and start fires and just buy a ton of big lighters, you know. If I was out in the wilderness situation, I would probably prefer to have a fair CM rod, but you know, when you're in your home, this is just something good to have here. The next item I'm gonna talk about is uh, a firearm. And that's gonna be the extra credit item because not everyone can own a firearm, depending on what country you live in, what state you live in or whatnot. But uh, if you can have a firearm, I highly encourage you to have one. And if you can only have one firearm, I believe it should be a 12 gauge pump shotgun. The reason why a pump is because it uh, doesn't jam like an automatic, you know, has a tendency to do. And you can also take down small game, large game, and you can defend your home with it. Great thing to have. Uh, I'm doing a video series about how to build a home defense shotgun, and I'll go through the ins and outs of this. But uh, if you only have one gun, 12 gauge shotgun. The next thing, you know, th this list of items is for sheltering in place, so staying in your home. Bugging out, this is not the stuff you want to have, and, and I can go over that kind of stuff in the future. But So sheltering in place, you know, you, you need to have a little small LED flashlight anyway, you know, if you're EDC gear. But for lighting up your home, you're going to need something more substantial, that broad, a broad range of light like this here. And uh, you can do the kerosene, uh, lanterns. LED, if you do do an LED, don't get the rechargeable batteries because if the power goes out, grid goes down, you can't recharge the battery. You want it to accept rechargeable and actual batteries. Another good thing is to have as a headlamp in case you got to go work on something at your house. But some way to illuminate your house. The next, and have extra batteries for that too, for that gear and kerosene fuel. The next thing is the NOAA weather radio. This one here is a solar and it has a wind up here. This one's made by Eaton. It's the American Red Cross version. And you can pick up, you know, regular radio as well as the NOA weather radio band. This one also has a flashlight and it has a place to plug in your smartphone so you can recharge it as well. So good to have, good way to get communication and get intel from what's going on in the outside of your home so you know to, if you need to stay in place or get, get out bug out the next thing we're going to talk about is a multi-tool a lot of people you know even myself if i go off in the wilderness and and i uh going to go survive out in the woods a lot of people say fixed blade knife but in a shelter in place situation i say a multi-tool you know in most urban survival situation a multi-tool multi-tool can do a wide variety of things i encourage you to buy the best one you can leatherman is i've never gone wrong with those guys but it it's a great great thing to have and it can take care of things indoors and outdoors you can fix you know uh something on your car or you can go uh skin out a 200 pound deer so it can handle a wide variety of tasks. In mine, I'll, I'll put a, a lanyard bead of a, fer a ferrocium rod lanyard bead on there. So if I only have this, I can make fire and, you know, have, have the tool as it is. The next thing, you know, in my area, it's not such a big deal because even on our coldest days, you're not going to really die from hypothermia unless you get wet. But uh, good sleeping bags for everybody in your family and these sleeping bags need to be rated to the lowest degree rating of the place you live in another good thing to have is a space heater and, uh, if you live in like areas like montana or something they get very cold and you need to uh, warm up a room to keep from going hypothermic the next item is a fire extinguisher and this is, should be pretty common sense but uh, a lot of people don't have fire extinguishers 
if your house gets struck by lightning or you know some something goes wrong and your house burns down you can't shelter in place so then you're essentially homeless and if the grid's down you know you don't have any you're not getting help from anybody else so you know you need to have this have your smoke detectors and all that kind of stuff this, if, you, if you don't have anything on the table at least have that you know but uh the next thing is a lot of people don't think about is sanitation and right here we have the luggable loo and it's essentially just the toilet on the bucket so the fact is a lot of people you know the grid goes down there they can't use their bathroom but they'll still use their bathroom then they'll have a sanitation issue inside and get sick so this you know you can do this you know in your garage or something like that and, you know you do it away and you can bag up your waste and get rid of it the thing is is you don't want to be digging cat holes out in your backyard while you know there's civil unrest going on outside of your house you don't want to put yourself in a compromising position so that's that but anyhow this list is not all encompassing it's not uh everything you should have you know i would encourage you to have more but this is somebody who's getting into preparedness and 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 these are the bare minimum of items that i feel like you need to have uh for most situations if you don't have anything else at least have these items and you know i'll go ahead and say this while i'm while i'm talking about it. the 12 gauge shotgun a lot of people say a 22 rifle for uh survival and if i was in a wilderness if i'm crashing a plane somewhere and i'm out there by myself and i'm hunting for food, hunting for small game, and I can carry a thousand rounds of 22. yeah, that's great. But I don't want to get in a, a firefight with a 22 rifle against some guys that's got AR-15s and shotguns. So w with that, a shotgun can do a lot of things, and it's, and it's a very versatile uh, firearm. All right, guys, so this isn't the all-encompassing list. This isn't, you know, everything that, that one needs, but this is the bare minimum. It's uh, good, good stuff to have, and, and it will handle most situations, you know have a few weeks worth of food, a few weeks worth of water. But uh, this is also a good, good thing to build upon. I also have an article on BlackScoutSurvival.com called Preparing for Disaster. And you can go on there and find links to a bunch of items that, that uh, I recommend you know, from, from things like on this table. Not exactly these items because there's some out, out there that I like better than even what I have on this table. But you can go on there and check that out. But if you like this video, please subscribe. Check out BlackScoutSurvival.com. Thanks for watching.